Hello and welcome to Last Food Barbecue. Lamb chunks and portobello mushrooms in the oven. Okay, so I got two lamb chunks here. I'm just cutting through the silver skin. I can't really remove it because if I do, it's just gonna fall apart. It's not gonna look very pretty. So cutting some slats and then browning them in some olive oil and a cast iron skillet. Just seasoning them with a little bit of olive oil on the top side and then some garlic powder. I think that's gonna be enough to start with. So, turn them over once they have a little bit of a crust. And I'm also gonna do all the other sides. In a oven proof dish, I'm putting two small quartered uh, red onions, just a little bit of oil on the bottom and then adding the shanks to there. As you can see, I've also fried the bottom of them now, or the top. Anyway, so I'm using lamb spice. It's uh, mint, rosemary, and some uh, basil. I think it is. Yeah, it's herbal. Anyway, a small bottle. That's actually a quarter of a bottle of red wine and uh, the same amount of water. Bringing it to a boil and then into the oven at uh, about 420. Okay, so 30 minutes later, starting with the mushrooms, removing the the brown stuff on the bottom, I don't know what it's called in English, any which way. Uh, then also the stem, just removing that. One of them was a little bit broken on the edge. It doesn't matter because I have to cut it off to fit it into the pan anyway. Okay, so using the tip of a knife, I'm just cutting slits into the meat of it and then shaving some butter on top of there. Mushrooms, I'm gonna season with one of my favorite spice mix. It's called basil and tomato. It's got some garlic in there. It's a really good mix, especially for mushrooms. So adding that on top of the butter, and then it was time to put the mushrooms in into the oven with the lamb chunks as well. So I think the first thing we need to do is take a peek. Okay, so this is simmering away. It smells really nice in here. Okay, 15 minutes later, the butter is melted and it's time to add some grated sharp cheddar. This went really well with the mushrooms as well. Back into the oven and this is what it looked like about 15 minutes later. So all in all, it took one hour at 4.20. This smelled gorgeous, as Polly would have put it. Okay, a mushroom, a shank, and some onions. Picture and time for a taste. There we go, some um, red wine braised lamb. Mm. It's really good, really tender. Let's try the portobello as well. Really good. I'm gonna enjoy this for sure. Thank you for watching. Bye.